Welcome everybody to episode 3 in my tutorial series for beginner players in Minecraft. We are starting off where we left off in uh, episode 2 at the torch. Today we'll be looking at our command system in Minecraft. This is going to be a rather short episode um, just to enable new players uh, to get to know the most helpful commands. I'm not going to go in depth in all the commands there is. It's easy enough to do a Google search and see what other commands is out there. But in essence, we will be showing you how to enable your commands if it's not enabled, how to use them, and uh, that should hopefully help a bunch of people out there. All right. So first things first, if you play in your own world and it's a survival map, it's most likely that commands won't be enabled to you. So if you open your command system by using a forward slash and you start with a command, it should show red. Mine is enabled at the moment. But if you say time, for instance, you wanted to do anything, it would have shown red and you would know that you can't use your commands. So if you're playing in your own world and you need to enable your commands, you can press escape, go to open LAN, and make sure that the loud cheats is on. Game mode, creative, adventure, survival, we're not going to change anything for you. That is only for players that's going to join your game. And we'll look at that a bit later in another episode. But it's really as easy as that. They need to have your port number, your IP address, preferably on the same uh, LAN as you are, and you'll be able to play. But as I said, that's for another episode. So you have to allow your cheats say start land world it's going to say you that your local uh, game is hosted on port whatever the port number might be it's going to be random uh, every time and that now means that my commands is enabled all right everybody let's look at a few commands first off we are going to use tp which just stands for teleport so let's say I move a few uh, blocks away. I'm going to teleport to the candle. So I I already uh, wrote down the um, I already wrote down my coordinates. If you press a three, you'll see that that's at six five two, one o four, and then one four double one. I just remember that six five two has a minus in front of it. So that's my coordinates there. So if I want to teleport to that location. I use forward slash tp and I write in the coordinates x first, then my y, and then my z coordinates, exactly um, as I showcased the coordinates in my previous video. And you press enter, and whoop, you'll be instantly at the coordinates you wanted to go to. Normally, in a survival world, you wouldn't utilize this feature, but just sometimes it might be necessary or helpful for whatever reason to do it. The next command we are going to look at is difficulty. Now you can access your difficulty again by going to escape and saying uh, options. And you can choose your difficulty up there for normal, hard, peaceful, or easy. And that determines how mobs behave in your game, how easy it is to kill them. But again, as mentioned in the previous episode, if you put that to peaceful, all your mobs in your game is going to be gone. There's not going to be any. All right, but you can do that with commands as well. So you just say forward slash difficulty. I just press tab and you can choose easy, hard, whatever, and it would go to that difficulty. The next command that we're going to look at is how to change your weather. Sometimes it would start raining in your world and it might be inconvenient at that time or thunder might even start um, going. And that is sometimes not uh, preferable because uh, the lightning strikes might cause uh, villagers to turn into witches and a few other things that can happen. So to change your weather, you just type forward slash weather and you can choose clear if you want to clear the rain. Uh, if you want the rain to start, you can say rain and you can immediately see my rain falling down. Or if you want to do that really, you can say thunder and you would have 
a thunderstorm on your head, you can see it turns to thunder clouds, and we should see some uh, thunder rather soon. Anyway, and then obviously, if you want to clear that again, you just and that's it. The next command we're going to look at is game mode. And that is to change between creative mode, spectator mode, survival mode that most people would play in. Uh, I already showcased uh, the three different options. There's adventure as well, but that is something for a future video. So currently I'm in survival. You can see my heart and my uh, stakes at the bottom of the screen. And if I want to go into creative, I can just choose it or I can start writing it out and I would be in set mode. All right exactly the same if you need to change back easy peasy the next command that we're going to look at is to locate structures now as mentioned um, in my previous video you, we have tools like chunkbase.com that we can utilize to get to most structures in the game i will showcase that in my next video in episode 4 but for now, if you are in game and you have access to commands, you can locate the structure by saying locate and you can say structure and then you can choose from a list of options and you can go and um, type this out, but it's much easier to just uh, choose it. So if I want a swamp pot, I'll just select that, press enter and it will show the coordinates at the bottom. So we've got the swamp pot at 2144 by 192. Um, and I can navigate to that exactly as shown in my previous video. As you saw already, you can also locate the biome. So if you want to locate the biome, let's say we want a beach, you can do that as well and you'll be given the coordinates. The next command that we're going to look at is how to set the time of day. As you can see, the sun is uh, currently setting behind me and uh, it's going to become nighttime soon, which means that zombies and stuff will spawn. If you're in a survival world, you can just climb into a bed and sleep the night through and you'll be fine. But if you do have access to commands and you really want to go that route, you can use the command time, say set and just say day. And that would set the time today and the sun is now actually coming up on the other side of this stage. You, uh, we won't see that at the moment. But again, we can do the same. Time set, we can say midnight. And it would be in the middle of the night and zombies would start spawning uh, around us at least 28 blocks away. But still, we don't want that at the moment. So let's just set that back today before we get blown up by a creeper. Ah, let's make sure. Let's make sure that we're safe. Okay, so that's all the commands that we um, will be looking at today. There's two other helpful commands. It is seed and set world spawn, but we'll be looking at those in the next episode. And then we will also look at chunk base and how you can utilize that to locate any structures or a biomes that you might uh, want to visit or want to locate all right thank you very much for visiting this episode if you liked the content and want to be notified about uh, future videos please subscribe and hit the bell uh, button and uh, we've got about 80 episodes lined up covering a range of a range of topics but all of them as already mentioned would be aimed at the uh, beginner player or at least to somebody that forgot how to do something in the world and um, I really hope that everybody picks up something that they did not know. Alright, thank you very much for visiting, enjoy your day, bye bye.